What is going on guys? So today me and Adam are walking a field that actually is planted, but we can walk between the rows as long as we don't step on any cotton plants. We should be good to go. Um, we're looking for some airheads, basically burning some daylight. Adam has come down from Florida and we're just going to give it a few minutes uh, till dark and see if we can't pick up a couple airheads. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we can get into. today i actually left my uh camera in my truck uh way over there and i just spotted my first arrowhead let's go down and take a look right there is my first arrowhead let's pick him up yep that's a good one we'll definitely take it throw it in the pocket and see if we can find us another one all right may have another one don't know i see a tip Let's pull it out and see. Yep, that one's all there too. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Definitely take that one too. All day long. Let's try to find, let's try to find at least, at least three more before we leave. You guys think that's possible? I'll show you guys some tips on how you can find these, or from what I've learned, how you can find these. So hang on, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I've got another one. Guys, see it? Haven't touched it, so don't know what it looks like. Thought we'd look at it together. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, man. That one's a nice one for sure. That'll go right in the case. Sweet. Let's get back to it. One of the beauties of looking for arrowheads is you can legit do it year round. Uh, it doesn't have to be the winter time when the crops are out. You know, make sure it's okay with the farmer that you're looking on. But nine times out of 10, if you're just looking for points, you know, walking between the rows doesn't mess up anything. It doesn't mess up the crop. You know, it's not like you're swinging a machine, knocking over stalks or digging up the rows. You're just walking between them and picking up rocks. So it's a good hobby to do year round if you've never metal detected. I mean, bleh, if you've never looked Native American artifacts. Now, I advise that you get you something like this, okay? This is just a broom handle with a nail in the end of it. And basically all I use it for, I'll show you guys. Basically all I use it for is so when I see a rock, I can go down and touch it. Listen. You hear that clicking? So I can tell if it's a rock or if I see the edge of a blade or a piece of rock, I can easily flip it out of the ground without having to bend completely over to get it up. You still have to bend over to pick it up, but it just saves a lot of uh, a lot of up and downing, you know, uh, when there's a lot of flakage in the area that you're hunting. So we're gonna get back to it, and hopefully here in a minute, see another one. All right, so I just found this. Now, I didn't record it because I thought it was just gonna be a rock, and it may be a rock but it looks an awful lot like an unfinished axe head to me, like a small axe head. You see they work down both sides here, and it's big on the back. I mean, it could have been hafted, you know, like this. It wouldn't have took much, you know, to, to hit something over the head and knock it out or kill it. If anybody thinks that's more than just a rock, let me know. It's been definitely been worked on one side for sure. I'm going to hold on to it just in case. And uh, we got a rainstorm. Got a big rainstorm coming up on us. So we're gonna hunt for just a few more minutes and then we're gonna head back to the truck and uh, call it a day. I'll let you guys know what we found in total when we get back to the truck. Okay, here's a quick tip for you guys. So right here, you can see this is a flake. And then right here's another flake. And then if we look on this side, another flake, clamshell, we walk back down here. There's a couple more flakes. There's one there. Uh, there was another one in here. So right here, there's another flake right here. So anytime 
that you see flakes in one little area, more than likely you're going to come across an airhead in just a minute. So if you start seeing a bunch of flakes in one small little area, slow your roll, look nice and easy, and I bet you want to pop up. I'm looking to see if we can see one on video, but I'm probably going to put you guys away because it is planted. Um, but as soon as I see one, I'll let you guys know. May have another one right here. Looks like it. Yep, that's what that is. We'll definitely take that one too. Keep looking. May have another one right here. Looks like it. Yep, that's what that is. We'll definitely take that one too. Keep looking. All right, well the day is done. Uh, it's getting late. The gnats are horribly bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the wrap up with you guys. I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, I do not know the names of some of these points because I'm still learning. But if you do like what you see, please subscribe. So I'm gonna flip you around and show what we've got. Got uh, a couple pieces of Indian pottery. One, two, three pieces there. Got uh, one point here. Got this one that I think is the nicest one. I think that's a Guilford. One here that I spotted for Adam. He didn't want it, so I kept it. I think this is a napping stone. It fits perfectly in your hand. I think it was what they were using to nap the points with. Got one, what I believe to be a big scraper. Could be a preform or a big flood percussion flake, but I'm pretty sure that's a big scraper. And got what I believe to be the hand axe. I mean, that thing is definitely worked down one side. You know, it fits good in the palm of your hand. You know, they could have used it to, I don't know, butcher meat or, you know, chop wood or something. I think that's a hand axe is what I believe that is. So it wasn't really a super bad day for mid-July, uh, 90 degree day. So if y'all like what you saw, don't forget to click the subscribe button. We'll see y'all on the next one. Take care.